All right. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new pre-market analysis. Today it's the 3rd of August, 2023, if you're wondering. And, uh, yeah, we had some news yesterday. Um, as I said, we we're speaking about that NFP thing. It was not really NFP, but kind of was. I'm not sure. It was non-farm payroll, but a different one is some use because normally it's a different time or I just don't know so I was not quite sure about it but he gave a move it flipped the script and the thing I forgot really about this leg was that we already tapped into that premium pricing I forgot about that so it was very valid to continue further down and actually I should have maybe focused on shorts but if we Look at that PA there. It's not really clean anyway, so that's all right. It's all right. Um, now we are below previous weekly lows, so let's just give that a little extra. How do you say it? To make it extra visible for myself, we got, got below previous weekly lows now. Yes, we took out previous daily lows as well. Um, <clears throat> well, actually, not really, because we got yesterday's previous week daily lows that are still intact. So we took on Wednesday, yesterday, we took Tuesday's previous daily lows. Those on from Wednesday, now Thursday, they are still valid. And we have a new lag to the downside now from this high down to this low. And I'm going to keep that on now just to be sure that I know that we really tap into discount pricing or premium pricing in this case. Sorry, I mean premium pricing. Same here. We just tapped into that premium, nothing into discount. And uh, yeah, but we can still use that. So this is a quite large block I'm using right now. And I'm going to see if I can refine that. Yeah, I can maybe, maybe refine it to over there, actually. So then put this across. Hold up. Give this some time. I should just put this to the side. Am I looking good? Yeah, it's great. Um, Put this here. Oh no, I'm super white. I have to get in the sun. But holidays were too short, man. Holidays were too short. It's a minute supply zone. All right, so we got that. We got the previous daily highs. You got previous daily lows, All right? Let's break it down from the top. <clears throat> Where are we? Where can we go next? <sighs> Hold up. So we took that liquidity. Actually, let's go to the weekly. Why not? We took that liquidity here. We came into that key level. We missed that daily supply zone, but then we get the move down. Um, looking at the four hour or on the daily, we can see that yes, it was a quite strong candle to the downside. Um, you can see that we had that liquidity grab, leaving that wick to the upside, and then that body to the downside. Oh, we have slight. Week to the downside as well. We close below the previous week lows. We close below that liquidity. So you might see some deep, uh, um, deeper retracement into that discount pricing of this overall leg to the upside. Now, what we can do already is mark this out as a high because whatever happens next, this is the valid high where we break to the downside or continue up. Why? Because we reached into that discount pricing of this leg. <clears throat> now we can see that we have these lows and inside this leg this could function as internal range liquidity although if you go lower we can see that that low here where this order block came from is not that visible 
it is super minor, but you could also use this one. Uh, we swept, swept these lows. Bearish order flow, bearish order flow, bullish break. So <clears throat> that way it makes us a quite strong um, demand zone. That's why I marked it on. But you got to keep in mind that in this overall leg on the high time frame, this could be our internal range liquidity. We might actually get lower. Therefore, we can still follow this bear structure, follow the try to trade it, try to get shorts lower until it's invalid. As soon as it's invalid, um, I would say continue looking for longs, start looking for longs. Um, now, coming into today then, what can we see? We had a break, previous weekly lows taken, internal range liquidity taken, push to the downside, quite a strong push, nice. And this is our first premium area where we look for shorts. Then wh where do we look for longs? Well, we can't look for longs yet. We want to get below the previous daily lows as well. Um, not because we are, we want extra confirmation really, although, yeah. But if you look at price section, we have a high, we have a low, potential lower high. It's not well, not even classing that as a high that led to low, but just we can't long from this PA, just this PA, because this didn't break anything or whatever. So ideally want to grab that liquidity because we create equals now as well. And then what I will be looking at is a move to the downside and then a long move. Whether I get that or not, we'll see. So far, we have, didn't get any entry drills this week. We go over this, go over where price was most likely to go. There were no entry drills. Although, <clears throat> sorry, we took previous daily lows here. And then if we go into replay mode. Um, no, 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 no. This could be your early sellers, but then they should have been taken out. So no, nothing so far this week. No, oh, I'm going to give you a little, little sneak peek, little, little thingy there. You see this? Let's go for the five minute. I can change the settings, but I'm not going to show this, the settings menu yet. Smart money comes with the fork stool. Keep your eyes open for that. It's going to be sick. That's going to be sick. I'm excited for that. My mates work really hard on it. Um, well, I've been working on the Discord, and now it's both all in on that. Well, more, more to come, though. More to come, more to come. I don't want to give too much away yet um but yeah so for me shorts in this area long from below from from below previous day low and that's the main play for today um is there news today i think there is yes a lot of gbp news in the afternoon so not in my session and this is all outside of my session as well so nothing for me to worry about just to keep in mind that because there's low news or there is news, but not in my session. My session might be slower than usual. So that's a thing you can keep in mind. So let's say you enter trade, you get a trade set up and it's super slow. You know, like, all right, it's just because there's news coming out later today and there's just, they're taking their positions and preparing to, why is this so nasty? To move accordingly on the back of news. So yeah. Then the XY, can we line up with that? Because I think we can expand this range again. We came above that liquidity. That's nice. I was speaking about yesterday. I was expecting, actually, I have to, I have to look more at my DXY when doing my EU trading. Because, yeah, we moved to the upside. Um, DXY zooming out. Okay, I'll remove this. Not relevant anymore. Coming deeper into that premium pricing, you see that this is a stronger order block for... Supply zone, more to say, because for me, I make it, I 
the difference for me to uh, from an order block and a supply zone is supply zone is the buy sell move. The order block is this single candle. And that's for everyone different, but that's my terminology. So, and I think it's good to have that different. You can also just call it your buy to sell move, but I think it's good to have, if you use it, to know, like, okay, this is this, this is that. And doesn't matter how you call it, just know that there's differences to it. Well, that didn't play out. That's good. <laughs> Should have cleaned this up. Um, nice to see that TXY didn't, or TXY. GU didn't give that premium pricing yet. So we can extend this now. And we can say that this could be our internal range liquidity. Actually, it's marked just, just marked it out as previous with daily highs, which is our uh, internal range liquidity. We get previous, previous daily lows down here. And for GU, pretty much the same now that we are in this side, this bear structure, I'm looking for shorts from this premium area. And I'm looking for long below previous daily low. Now with GU, you gotta keep in mind that we have this internal, sorry. Oh. Internal range liquidity over there. I think yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, we tapped into that. Yeah, into that um Discount of the overall red range. Zooming out, that's this leg. Um, we know that we haven't reached this kind yet on this leg, neither on this leg. So overall, we can still go lower. But yeah, if you go to EU, it's pretty much the same story. We haven't reached a discount on this leg either. So one, one st structure layer less than GU. I mean, extra structure layer here. <clears throat> because of the bearish liquid break, liquidity grab continuation. But yeah, pretty much same as EU and GU. Wait for previous daily lows to be taken. Um or look for shorts from that premium. There. Let me zoom in. There. It's premium. Or GU, I don't think that will happen. That's quite far away. EU a bit closer. Closer, closer, but still to get all the way up to here inside London, then give the move, and then give the short. That's that's a lot. I don't think that will happen, especially if you look at this. I think just from this screen, this is the largest um, London session we had, and that's actually this size. So if you pull that across. No, nah, that won't happen. See, that's just a move up. That won't happen. So yeah, that's my pre-market analysis for today. Longs here, shorts here. If it happens, if not, then not. And uh, yeah, catch you guys later. Peace. Where is it? Oh, up here. Peace out.